वेलकम टू चारुसो चैट रूम वी हैव विथ अस डॉक्टर अमित गनत्रा करेंटली ही इज वर्किंग एज डीन फैकल्टी ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंजीनियरिंग चारुसर ही इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ देवंग पैटेल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड रिसर्च डेपस्टर चारुसर Namaskar and welcome to chat room. With your kind of a vast experience in in academic and research, would like to know how you really prepare your students and what is your broad vision about the students of tomorrow. Devang Patel Institute of Advanced Technology and Research is newly established college uh, at Charusat. Uh, we started this college in year 2017. Uh, the major emphasis uh, in developing this college is to provide and impart a quality education to the state of the gujarat uh, students of the gujarat uh, here we uh, give holistic development to the students uh, it's not only about uh, the education but the main emphasis is on sports cultural activities uh, and uh, industry exposure practical skills so that uh, they they can become the global citizen of uh, tomorrow and they can uh, compete at global level while we are having uh, uh, so much of uh, uh, clumsiness in this it segment as far as uh, admission is concerned in the university i mean we find that uh, devster is one such exception which is bringing in huge number of students into the campus so what is, what is this special mix in it Uh, sir right now no one can survive without technology you see every field every course every branch if you see then everywhere the uh, automation is there even industry uh, after the fourth revolution of industry this automation and all this are taking place even if you talk about iot and cloud computing so this is everywhere this is applicable and without technology no one can survive so that's why we have started uh, this college only with uh, these high tech branches like computer engineering computer science and engineering and information technology uh, so that uh, this all uh, advancement which are happening and the futuristic technology which are there for all the branches a uh, student can be prepared and based on that they can provide their best knowledge for the organization what exactly is your future vision for uh, uh, dipster see we would like to see uh, this uh, devstar among the top 5 uh, colleges in the state of gujarat when you talk about uh, the education in high tech branches like computer engineering computer science engineering and that's information really technology that's really encouraging so we expect that uh, students uh, first choice should be devstar so precisely i would like to know the how your it and advanced technology already contributed and about to contribute for the human race of tomorrow in uh, year 1960s we have started storing data in a file and uh, initially after uh, storing data in file uh, after 20 years like in 1978 we come up with the concept of rdbms and then all types of databases have uh, emerged uh, like object relational database object uh, oriented database spatial database temporal database web database time series database uh, in year 1990s uh, people have realized that it's not only just to store the data and information is important rather to convert that uh, data and information into knowledge and to get the insight is very useful and all as all these past databases were not invented for the purpose of analysis the concept of data warehousing and data mining uh, have been coined in the year 1990 so when you study this subject of data mining it will give you the insight uh, from a huge volume of data and this subject is all about how to transform the data into information and information into knowledge when we talk about artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, like it is exactly how the human uh, is actually taking decision how human is thinking how human is learning so basically we want to mimic uh, the human brain or human and all the activities which are carried out by human we expect that the same activities to be carried out by the computer so if we are developing applications or software or programs that exactly mimic like a human uh, then that branch uh, what we call as artificial intelligence and the way we learn machine should also learn they should adapt and they should not commit same kind of mistake what they have committed in the past 
then uh, such kind of uh, thing which is a sub branch of artificial intelligence that is called uh, machine learning with the development of uh, technology human touch is missing do you think that uh, uh, the kind of education that you are imparting to students they are not becoming human centric they are becoming machine centric no 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 it's not like that uh, you see this all uh, courses like ai machine learning and all is not like we are replacing man with a machine rather it is a uh, uh, if you study this subject it will develop good synergy between man and machine so it will assist you in uh, carrying out daily routine tasks so that you can focus on the more uh, strategic level task so yes here we are not uh, talking about replacing man with a machine or that human touch is going to go off uh, rather it is a good synergy between man and machine this is what my perception about uh, your question so with your first experience uh, and your area of interest in uh, data analytics artificial intelligence machine learning internet of things cloud computing how you look at the current scenario and the future vision about these broad areas sir without uh, the subjects what you have said without that there is no future uh, every product every organization every branch has to adopt this technologies uh, because now uh, they are thinking about the optimization and uh, they want to replace for the routine tasks with uh, man with a machine or rather they want to develop a good synergy between man and machine so this all subjects are very much essential and the skill and knowledge on this subjects will definitely uh, make their career better so without that no one can survive and every field is talking about this ai machine learning and data analytics because once you have a huge amount of data you need to get the insight uh, from the data and that is only possible through this subject thank you sir uh i think this dialogue with with a pers- eminent academician with so much of uh, uh, experience and expertise the generation next can avail of lot of information and that can create an interest in them so we welcome the uh, student community to get in touch with us in the uh, times to come to youtube to know more about the perspectives the possibilities the disruptions even in these areas of knowledge thank you please like share subscribe and comment thank you